Now this is a Q&A panel, so you have your questions locked and loaded, and you can just hop up to the mic anytime you've got a question to ask our writers. But I want to get you guys started. Um, I'm wondering if you could both tell, if you could both tell us, um, how did you get started in your writing profession or in storyboarding profession, and what brought you to the Transformers franchise? You start. <laughs> <laughs> I you were going to start. Uh, uh, for me, um, I got started in the business working at a company called Filmation Studios. And um, it was a good training ground. You know, if you could survive filmation, you could survive <laughs> in the industry. I did that for like a couple of years and moved over to Marvel just in time for them to green light uh, Spider and his amazing friends, and then later on, uh, G.I. Joe and Transformers. And so that's how I got involved and got started with working on both. Actually, I worked on both series at the same time. Um, and it was a lot of fun, yeah. you know. When, when were you at Filmation? Uh, 1980, I think. 1980, because yeah. I was there from 78 to the start of 80. So I must have been going out the door just as you were coming yeah, in. <laughs> Do you remember a crazy show called uh, Sport Billy? I, I did not work on it, but I do remember it. And, and, and so, yeah, in, in the rank of crazy shows that Filmation yeah. did, that doesn't even crack the top ten. I mean, yeah. It was a bizarre little show yeah. that uh, we were working on and got it off. The, it was for another, it was for, I think it was for Germany. Or yeah, it was a like German uh, sports show for Yeah, kind of like Felix the Cat, but a, the guy had a little sports bag and pulled sports things out of it. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Better, you know. Whatever. <laughs> it, was, yeah. it was a good job, the training job and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, as for me, I was, I was in a way involved with Transformers before the show even began because I was working at Ruby Spears Studio. Larry went to Marvel, I went to Ruby Spears. Um, and I was, I was at Ruby Spears and they brought all the writers and storyboard artists in to a, a meeting and these guys from Hasbro were there with a the big suitcase and they opened up the suitcase and it was packed with Transformer toys from Japan. And they were explaining they had bought the license to the toys, they were gonna bring them to the US. They weren't going to try to match the storylines that the toys originally came from. They were gonna recolor them, repaint them, rename them and come up with a brand new series. And they wanted uh, to know if Joe Ruby wanted to be involved in this. And I'm sitting there like, like this, because I, I was at that time the giant robot buff in animation. I was at every studio I was at, I was urging people to do giant robot cartoons, because I was fond of them. I'd seen the big impact they had in Japan. And I was telling them, it'll be the next big thing. You gotta get involved in it. And everybody just blew me off. So the Hasbro guys come in, they show the toys, and they have the meeting. And as soon as they leave, I'm telling Joe, you, you've got to sign on to this. You've got to get involved. This is going to be huge. It's going to be big. It's going to, you just have to do it, Joe. And Joe said, nah, I got a better idea. We're going to do a show called Turbo Teen about a teenage oh. boy who turns oh. into a car. Oh. God, and I, I said, then that. what? Does oh. the car turn into a parking lot? <laughs> um, so... I thought he was joking at first, but no, he was serious. And he developed Turbo Teen, and he called us a couple of weeks later in to you know, have a meeting on Turbo Teen. G they gave all of us the uh, Turbo Teen Bible. And so you're gonna go back to your office and start generating story ideas. So I go back to my office, and I get about halfway through the Bible, and I toss it in the trash can. And I go back to Joe, and I said, Joe, I'll develop story ideas for you, but you gotta explain a few things to me first. If Turbo Teen is a car and they take his wheels off, when he turns back into a boy, is he missing his hands and feet? <laughs> if, if Turbo Teen is a car and they take the battery out, when he turns back into a boy, is he missing his heart? If Turbo Teen is a car and they put a suitcase in his trunk, and Joe said, I am putting you on another show. <laughs> Oh man, you're, you're lucky because I, I got I I did freelance on that and I couldn't Ooh. believe what I was drawing. It's like really, <laughs> they had a the girl kisses him, he gets hot and then he turns into a damn car. <laughs> I was like the weirdest ass oh, thing to draw. You, you may appreciate this because oh. you you probably knew John Dorman and his crew over oh, there. Oh yeah. All right. Yeah. John Dorman was Ruby Spears, the head of Ruby Spears storyboard department, and they had. No offense to Marvel, 
I think one of the best storyboard departments in the industry at that time, but they were, let's say, chemically enhanced, okay? <laughs> and at, it, it got to the point where they moved John and his crew out of the main studio building and into Cheech and Chong's old offices, which was just about the perfect place to put them. I mean, yeah. trust me on this. And I was friends with John. We would, we'd go out to lunch about once a week or something like that. So I go over to see John. I'm going to clean the story up a little bit. I go over to see John, and he is in the, this big open area that all the artists in the storyboard department are in. And they're all sitting there just scowling. And I figured, oh, crap, they've had an argument. They're all angry at each other, and everybody's pissed off at each other. And I wait for somebody to say something. And I'm not exaggerating, I waited 90 seconds because they had a radio on and we went through three commercials before John said, I'm cleaning this up, gosh darn Joe Blow, who was one of the writers at Ruby Spears, and they all start pounding their desks, gosh darn him, gosh darn him. It seems hmm. Joe Blow had written a script for Turbo Teen, where Turbo Teen, as a car, climbs up on a high dive at a swimming yeah. pool, yeah. as a car, wow. Bounces wow. up and dive on, down on the diving board, executes a perfect jackknife dive <laughs> as a car, <laughs> swims over to a rowboat in the pool as a car, right. and climbs in as a car, and they were expected to storyboard this. Yeah. You understand now why they were chemically enhanced. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was some of the most ridiculous scripts we ever had. Uh, it, it was insane. I mean, basically, when you got the scripts and it, they were doing us in, insanity, we just you just had to ignore it almost I mean, and just make up something different. You, you keep the intent, but it's like, my God, you couldn't draw any of that crap. No, no, don't don't blame oh, me. God. I was I dodged that bullet. Oh yeah. man, it was terrible. Yeah.